Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about some great text editors and code editors for Linux distribution. So let's just start it. Now, uh, some of the great editors that I will be featuring in this video are Atom, VS Codium, Sublime Text and Lite and also Emacs and Nano and VI. So first let me talk about the differences between these editors. So if you have used an editor like Atom, then I think we would know that Atom is really not that great. It's really slow, sluggish and just heavy on the system. So what can we do to replace that and why is it that slow and sluggish? So the reason for that is because it's based on Electron and you can think of Electron like a browser. Okay, so it's like a mini browser that runs a website that is made to be working like an app because like uh, Electron if it runs on Electron, then it's made to be done as an app, so it is specifically modified like that. But at the end of the day, it's like a website and it's based on a browser. So like, when you think of it, it's like a Frankenstein and a combination between a desktop app and a website. And that's a really great combination, like I would say, because the compatibility that it offers is just amazing. Like. You can run your app on Linux, on Windows, on Mac without any problem. So that's really great, but the performance hit is just too big for me. Like I can't afford that much performance hit for simple basic stuff that I want to do. So that is why I uh, gone on a quest to search for an editor that would do my work like editing grub files, editing some configuration files, changing stuff, simple stuff, and I just don't want it to use terminal based text editors for that stuff. I just wanted something that can quickly edit files and not only that, those grub and some configuration files, like even some code files, some files where I don't want to open my VS Codium project or something like that. I just don't want to mess up the projects in it or change that to recent files. I just wanted an editor that says use it, close it, use it, close it, use it, close it, open 10 windows of it and just doesn't give a damn about it. And Atom was just <laughs> really annoying. So let me just show you what it's like to open Atom. Now Atom is opened two times before and all other editors I will show are also open two times before just so it takes the num uh, take all the launch numbers with a grain of salt. Let me open Atom. So you can already see not the fastest. So we will just say new video control s exit and you can see it just worked but really not great. Another option is Emacs. Great text editor, works amazing, very fast, it has a bit of a learning curve but uh, I would say that uh, once you learn it you will just enjoy it. Really great, really cool. Just Highly recommended and this is a Doom Emacs so it's not the basic Emacs, basic Emacs I don't like but this Doom Emacs it just looks amazing. It's really easy to install you can just search, search for Doom Emacs and you will know how to install it. And also Doom Emacs has this really cool thing where if you try to quit it will show you something like this Emacs, Emacs never changes quit, no. Again quit, don't leave that there is a demon around that corner like some Doom uh, kind of stuff like Doom was a game, uh, yeah, and is also a game right now. And the DOS Doom like showed a lot of cool messages like DOS is boring, don't leave, and stuff like that. It just shows those warnings, and I really like it. Once you learn all the key bindings, Doom Emacs, you will just love it. It's just really worth it. But if you don't uh, want that learning curve where you have to like use key bindings, Control C, Control V doesn't work. You have to learn all the key bindings of Vim and stuff. Then I think the next two editors will be your jam. So one is Sublime Text now. I think most of you already know about Sublime Text. You can just type Sublime to launch it if you have it installed. Sublime Text you can see much faster and it offers all the same if not more functionality than Atom. You can edit the code files also with it. I used to code in it just fine before I was like search for VS Codium and I just started using VS Code and VS Codium. I just start, used, started my programming with Sublime Text and it was just amazing. I can still switch to it without any problem. I can code in it without any problem. VS, uh, the Sublime Text is a really great editor and like it's just really fast. 
because again it's not based on electron it's a natively written app and also all these apps i am showing you are free so that's really great sublime text is paid but uh, the free period is unlimited so from time to time it will just show you a message that hey you can pay us but you are not forced to pay us so and i think you can live with that not a big deal also we have light now this one doesn't like launch the text file automatically i have to click on it from here for some reason i don't know but uh, light is also a good text editor i don't really love it but it's really fast snappy it's uh, written in lua great, great really great but i think the main light and that was the original one is not supported anymore the new one is light xl and i don't think it will also last that long don't really know but it's just not my jam it's a really light editor so that's really great but nope so if you ask for my choice my choice are sublime and emacs you also have one called uh, nano if you just want to like do some configuration files and stuff <laughs> the fastest i think but uh, really not that great you also have via.txt via the again same thing really fast but still not my thing so sublime and emacs i think are the best bet they really look uh, good and they work great if you are not having up any problem with sublime uh, with electron then you can also try atom and vs codium really great editors works awesome and telemetry is not a great is not present in vs codium atom i think has some but you can disable maybe so that i think wraps it up and uh, i hope this like uh, this video helps you because again electron is just just not slow it just takes a lot of resources that a simple text editor shouldn't take because electron again is like chrome or chromium at, at its heart so it takes all the resources like a new browser windows so I hope this video helps you and if it did then please like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel see ya